In this lecture, we are going to solve our problem number 4 on Norton's theorem. And according to this problem, we need to find VTH and IN across the terminals A and B. This is terminal A and this is terminal B. And across the two terminals, we need to find VTH, which is Thevenin's equivalent voltage. And we need to find IN, which is Norton's equivalent current. So the question is very simple to understand and out of VTH and IN we will first find out VTH. So we will first focus on calculating VTH and when you look at the given network you will find there is no need to do any modification for the calculation of VTH because VTH is the open circuit voltage at the terminals and we already have the open circuit. So this is our VTH and now I will apply KVL in this loop and I will have plus VTH plus VTH then I have minus 100 volts equal to 0. From here I will have VTH equal to 100 volts. So we are done with calculation of VTH. Now we will move on to the calculation of IN. We will calculate IN. And for the calculation of IN, we need to make one modification in this network. We will short circuit the two terminals and the short circuit current is IN. Now before I explain you what will happen in this case, I will give you 5 seconds to find out IN. I hope you are done. Now I will explain you what will happen in this case. It is not possible to develop the Norton's equivalent circuit for this particular network. Now you will ask why? The reason is, in this case, KVL is getting violated. I will explain you how it is getting violated. When you apply KVL in this outer loop, you will have 100 volts equal to 0, which is definitely not possible. Therefore, we cannot have Norton's equivalent circuit for this network and we cannot have IN. We cannot calculate I n. So this is all for this question. Now we will move on to the homework problem. In this homework problem, you need to find VTH and I n across terminal A and terminal B. And once you have your answer, once you have VTH and I n, try to post your answer in the comment section. Now I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.